This is a demonstration of Plasma Active on the PingPod uh, 1000 tablet. And so Plasma Active is basically a little uh, graphical front end for KDE that's uh, real friendly for touch screens. And uh, it's pretty zippy, lets you jump around and work easily with a, with a finger. And so uh, it's based around widgets. And so we have these activities. And when you jump to an activity, you get all the widgets that you've had running on that particular desktop. And so it'll pop up apps, uh, shell terminal in this case, and whatever you want to work with. And that is Plasma Active. It's very easy to install. All you have to do is go into uh, your favorite uh, you know, uh, application installation method, uh, Synaptic or AppGit, and pick Plasma device and it'll install. It's not standard. But so this is a demonstration of the PingPod 1000 uh, running XBMC and we'll go ahead and play a video on here and then we'll show a streaming video. Now this video is uh, 720 uh, high def. Uh, we do have a video coprocessor on the A10 processor and with the CDRX libraries we can play full high def uh, pretty much smooth and so uh, this has just recently been integrated into XBMC. Streaming video with uh, XBMC. And so. Play a clip. PA TV here. And this will stream in uh, 720. So we can see they can stream high def video with uh, no problems. So we'll just pick the pilot and we will pick the 720 stream and so there you go so XBMC uh, with the all winter A10 processor running at full speed so here we'd like to just show some of the apps available. And this is the PingPod uh, 1000. And basically didn't mention all the things that uh, you can run because this is basically standard Linux. And so if you go through, uh, all the typical stuff you'd expect is there. Among it is uh, like LibreOffice runs. And so you've got a full desktop system. So you can do you know Office documents and all that uh, just like you would do, you know, on your desktop. And let's see. It's got Chromium, it's got uh, Firefox, it's got uh, basically all the standard apps pretty much available uh, through repositories, AppGit, Synaptic, uh, things you're used to. to you want to find out more about the PingPod tablets, you can visit us at pingpod.com. And if you'd like to pre order uh, one of these tablets, we do have a crowdfunder going on at indiegogo.com. And so we hope you'll take a look.